All right. So since we're going big picture. Yes, sir. Uh, I put together three names for the next Bears head coach because we all agree it's not going to be Matt Eberflus. All right. This is going to come as a big <laughs> shock to all of you guys. Uh-huh. All right. Do you want Brandon Staley? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. He was David Eckstein. <laughs> it's, it's not David Eckstein. Is Eddie Stanky available? It's, no. Um, mm. It's going to come as a big shock to you guys. Yeah. These are all offensive coaches. <laughs> I decided... That in the era of offensive Danny, football, Danny, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to hire an offensive coach. M- Matt Nagy's not getting a second shot. No, he's not. All right, listen, I know, I've adv- I know I've advocated for some bad coaches before. Just the two I mentioned. <laughs> and, no, listen, I was intrigued by Nathaniel Hackett. Oh, like, yeah, I, I could add were. another one. Oh, yeah, you, you wanted Getsy to get anointed. I wanted year. Getsy over Flus. <laughs> but, but my point is, yes. I also liked Dable. And Mike McDaniel. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I like offensive coaches. You like offensive coaches who have ideas and are, you know, uh, aggressive. All right. So here are my three, and I'm going to give them to you in reverse order as of where I have them right now. Three, two, and one. All right? You ready? Yeah. Number one. Or number three. Bobby Slowick. He is currently the <laughs> offensive coordinator for the Houston Texans. And his, his dad was the defensive coordinator here at one point. There you go. He played wide receiver. He worked for Kyle Shanahan in Washington, and he brought him to San Francisco, started as a defensive assistant, eventually rose up to passing game specialist. He's a passing game specialist. And and then D'Amico Ryans brought him from San Francisco to run the offense in Houston. Which is going very, very well. And all he's done in four games is have C.J. Stroud set the record for most passes to start a career by a rookie without an interception, wow. 151, and he has the second most passing yards of any rookie ever through their first four games behind only Cam Newton. All right, I like it. So Bobby Slowick Jr., and he's a legacy. Bob Slowick Sr. was the Bears defensive coordinator from 93 through 98. All right. We'll ask Wani about Bobby Slowick Jr. He probably changed his diapers. Okay, so that's that's number three. What he's doing with C.J. Stroud is incredible, and he comes from the Kyle Shanahan system. I don't think Wani changed his diapers lately. I just want to clarify. (laughs) Thank you. All right, number two. Yeah. Very popular name. Okay. The offensive coordinator of the Detroit Lions, Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson. 37 years old. I was so bummed when he took steroids. I thought he broke that record in the Olympics. It was awesome. 37 years old. Mm -hmm. Only been with two organizations in the NFL, the Dolphins and the Lions. He's coached receivers, tight ends, quarterbacks, passing game coordinator before eventually becoming the OC. No impressive, like overly impressive head coach mentors. It's been Anthony Lynn. He worked under Adam Gase, Dan Campbell. He's done it all on his own. He's described as like an absolute genius communicator. Um, Our guy Connor Orr wrote that up on his like list of next uh, head coaches. I I actually screenshotted the blurb from it if you needed me to uh, sell it for me. And screw you, Olin Krutz. He just texted, wait, no more Staley? Yeah, I was wrong <laughs> on Brandon Staley. That's right, Owen. Hey, we still have time. We've got like eight more seconds to dump you saying screw you, Owen Krutz, if you want. <laughs> nah. I love you, Owen. You know that. I love you very much. Uh, all right. So this is the dumb button. <laughs> the dumb button. Uh, what he's done with Jared Goff is incredible in, in Detroit. This is what Connor Orr wrote about Ben Johnson. It starts with a quote. Anything nice anyone tells you about Ben is probably true, end quote, says one of Johnson's former co-workers. This sums up the kind of uniform praise Johnson has received from industry types and fellow coaches alike. What separates him from the pack? Quote, he doesn't think he knows anything, end quote, the coach says. Another rival coach praised Johnson's ingenuity with Jared Goff and his openness to new ideas. Johnson's communication skills are noteworthy, as are his smarts. One of his former math teachers tells us Johnson, in an advanced geometry class, would challenge his high school teachers for alternate ways to solve complex proofs the teacher says it was one of the first times he had to confront the moment when a student was smarter dude that's a that's a high school geometry story for for a head coach that you love on the offensive side who is this does not bode well he's crushing it in detroit i know he's okay. turned jared goff into a legitimate you know unbelievable player i want i want i, I want these guys to have coached more than one system in their life because that's what brought down naggies that he only knew one thing and he just kept doing it he didn't want to adjust Hungarian stubbornness. Are any of these people Hungarian or stubborn, to your knowledge? No, but all right. So how about my last guy for you? Okay. Who currently is number one on my list. And Shane White. How do you have Bobby Slowick Jr. this low? Shane Waldron. Shane Waldron. 
He is the offensive coordinator of the Seattle Seahawks. He is 44 years old. Previous employment with the Patriots, where he won two Super Bowl rings with Bill Belichick, Washington, and the Rams. He's turned Geno Smith into a legitimate player, one of the top offenses in football. He was the passing game coordinator under Sean McVay for three years, which is the number one tree in the NFL yeah. right now. He has been on coaching staffs with Pete Carroll, Sean McVay, McVay, and Bill Belichick. The Sean McVay tree is the new Andy Reid tree. It yeah. really is. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, that's that's my number one guy right Shane now. Waldron. The Andy Reid tree. Yeah. So Shane, Sh Shane Waldron, uh -huh. Ben Johnson. Bobby Slowick. God, the textures are killing it. Here's um, they are, can't believe how polite Ben Johnson was to his lunch, his lunch lady in middle school. Um, also, Ben Johnson has a stomach full of kneecaps. The textures are saying that. Okay, I don't know if that's a positive. Have you or, seen the Lions? Yeah, they're they, good. They, 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 they're they're real good. They are real good. Okay, so you just gave us three guys. I gave you three guys. Hey, I'm not ready to lead the charge for Caleb Williams yet. I am willing to lead the charge to get rid of Matt Eberflus and hire a smart, young offensive coach. I don't know if people are going to follow you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's never is, stopped it, me before. is it really leading a charge if no one is behind you? Because it implies that you've got peoples. The mob will follow. The mob will follow. Uh, okay. I'm just letting you know. Listen, I've, I've made some mistakes with previous coaches. <laughs> this time I'm going to get it right because they are going to hire an offensive guy.